Hello everybody, this is Andrew Roboto here and today I would like to do a commentary slash reaction video on some childish dad videos from The Real Random Wazzy. Now, before I get started, I want to give an update. I apologize if I haven't been uploading videos as frequently. It's because, one, I was waiting on new Wi-Fi for my house because the old Wi-Fi decided to just stop working on me and it just became ter and it was became terrible over time and just pretty much almost useless but thankfully though I have new Wi-Fi so I should hopefully be able to get videos out on time I'll do my best though and two I've just been busy for a couple of days and I just haven't had time to record so yeah I just thought I'd give an update I'll try to upload videos more frequently and I'm hopeful that I'm gonna get them up more frequently with the new Wi-Fi I have but again, though, sometimes I can't upload videos right away just because of how busy I am. Because, I mean, stuff like this happens. But anyways, the first Childish Dad video I'm going to react to, well, the first three are going to be the newest ones. And I actually have not seen the three newest videos that the Real Random Blasi released because I've just been busy. But anyways, the newest one I'm going to react to first is Childish Dad Summons Bill Cypher. And for those who don't know, Bill Cipher is a triangular demon that's in the character Gravity Falls. For those who don't know, he's pretty much an evil triangle demon, to put it in short. So this will be pretty interesting. I am going to summon Bill Cipher from Gravity Falls because I think he's an awesome character. And I yeah, good luck. Frank Castle. Dave, what are you doing out here? It's the middle of the night. Yeah, it is the middle of the night, I can tell. Oh, I was just about to summon Bill Cyber. Do you want to stay and watch? Wait, are you talking about that evil triangle creature from the cartoon Gravity Falls? Yeah, he's such an awesome character, and I want to meet him, and maybe even ask for his autograph. So, I am going to use this book to summon him. I got it from Wish.com for five dollars. Oh my god, Dave. <laughs> Bill Cipher's a fictional character. He does not exist in real life. Are you insane, Dave? You can't summon Bill Cipher. Exactly. What? Are you insane? <laughs> Hello. Because, Dave, he is a fictional character, so it would be highly impossible to summon a fictional character. And besides, even if he did exist, then it wouldn't be a good idea to summon... That's exact... Catherine said exactly what I said. Bill Cipher is a fictional character from Gravity Falls. It's impossible to summon him in real life. Oops, sorry, this just popped up. I do apologize. I keep getting reminders of Adobe Flash Player retire that's been retired. I don't know why, but I do apologize. Him, because I saw what he did in the show, and we don't want that happening in real life now. Do exactly. We? we don't want that happening in real life. He's he's evil. <laughs> Here comes his trademark tantrums. <laughs> Karen. He calls him a Karen. He called her a Karen. <laughs> oh, really? That's what you think? Well, it's not going to work. I doubt it. <laughs> I highly doubt it's going to work, Dave. He's a fictional character. Okay, now time to recite the summoning speech. On, oh, Bill Cyber, great glory of God, come to me. I summon you to the mortal realm. Come forth, glory of evil. Come to me. Well, what is happening? Is it I think it works. Bill Cyber? Oh, yay. Oh, wow, Dave just summoned Bill Cipher. <laughs> wow, what a coincidence. I summoned Bill Cipher. Oh, dude, you actually summoned me. Yeah, it was me. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm finally getting to meet Bill Cypher. So, big guy, what is it that you require? Well, I was thinking that you could turn my wife into a potato. <laughs> Why would you want me to do that? <laughs> turn his wife into a potato? <laughs> because she is an entitled Karen who was... Entitled Karen? <laughs> Yeah, like that's gonna go well. <laughs> so, 
That will be funny. <laughs> the differ wow he, right. he actually I summoned them no wow so that you feel like a silly fool for saying that <laughs> well i still think this is a bad idea and as for you bill cypher you better not be thinking of causing any kind of a collapse here oh i oh lady but i was glad to do this oh really and what's the then oh my god <laughs> what are you doing to me Catherine's a potato. Did you put him up to this? Yeah. He's a she's a potato. <laughs> about it, Catherine. It's the worst day of your life. And funniest day of your life, too, not to mention. <laughs> oh my god, that was funny as hell. The next latest video, Childish Dad gets abducted by aliens. Yes, we're on thin ice. Oh, yay. I sure do love playing with my toy cars and making them go broom, 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 crashy, crashy. Yay. Crashy, hey, crashy. <laughs> what is going on? What's happening? What's happening? Uh, oh, I Dave's being abducted. <laughs> He's being abducted oh, by I'm aliens. <laughs> what are you crying for now? Huh? I wonder where he is. He's been abducted where by aliens. Dinosaur, my. This doesn't look like my front room. Also, where are my toy cars? Greetings, human. Do not be afraid. We mean you none all. Wait, space aliens. Oh no. I have been abducted by aliens. Please, don't hurt me. I am just a man. Please, do not perform experiments on me. Put me or whatever it is you do. Do not worry, human. We have no desire to perform any kind of experiments on you. Well, if you're not going to perform any experiments on me, then why would you ugly green freaks abduct me? Well, according to Odyssey, you are the most childish, premature human to ever take on the planet Earth. Yeah, and so on. What if I am? I love being childish. Heck, I yeah, right. a childish dad <laughs> because I have kids and a wife. And that is exactly why we chose you, you see. Our species is in desperate need for some entertainment, and you happen to be the perfect candidate. Wait, what are you talking about? I'm confused. Well, we have a tradition within our species where we choose a human every century to entertain us, and this century, you happen to be the lucky candidate. Wait, so I'm going to be famous? Well, you'll be famous within our species. Oh, wow. I've always wanted to be famous. This is true. Well, today's your lucky day, Dave. Life. Thank you so much for inducting me and giving me a chance to be famous. So, will you do it? Will you entertain us? Heck, you'll do it. All right. Right this way, please. A few moments later. I'm a little teeny point. Short it's down. Here's my hand. Looks <laughs> <laughs> like Dave's going to be entertaining the aliens. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty Bad together again. This is amazing. This is much better than I expected it to be. Indeed, Ogberg, we certainly made the right choice by abducting him, and he also seems to be enjoying himself. Oh, wow. I can't believe I just did that. And, well, look at that. These space aliens love me. Well, I have to say that you were an incredible human. We have not had entertainment like that in centuries. Oh, thanks. I sure had fun, too. But now, it is time for you to return to planet Earth. 
Oh, he's got to go home. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> no, no. I don't want to return to Earth. I want to stay here and become famous and entertain space aliens who want <laughs> Sorry, immature human specimen, but you have served your purpose. So now it is time for you to return to your home planet. No. Stop using <laughs> I, want to to I want to stay here. I want to stay here. Poor Dave. <laughs> Yeah, where did he go? <laughs> there you are. Where on earth did you get to? I just got abducted by aliens. No way! No way! Possible aliens. <laughs> okay, this is the first time I heard Catherine say no way in a weird voice. No way! <laughs> oh my god. That's another one of Catherine's funniest lines. Aliens don't even exist. Now tell me the truth. Where did you go? Wicked witch. I just told Wicked you witch. got abducted by aliens, and they were awesome. I saw them nursery rings, and they all loved me, but they didn't let me stay on their ship. And now I am sad. Warm. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Another new funny line from Catherine. <laughs> Whatever. No way. <laughs> Childish dad's new toy will be the next one we react to. The next newest one. Hey, Catherine, can I have a chocolate? Hold on a second, I gotta get this in full screen. I do apologize. Hey, Catherine, can I have a chocolate sprinkle donut? No, Dave, you just had a muffin. I don't want you eating too many snacks. And besides, I want a donut, hence why I would come here. Oh, well, can't I at least get one and save it for later? Well, okay then, just promise me that you'll actually save it for later and not eat it as soon as you get it. Yay. Thank you so much, Catherine, and I promise to save it and not eat it straight away. Okay, so, which donut do you want? I want the chocolate sprinkle one, please. Okay, chocolate sprinkles it is. Ooh, I love chocolate. Oh, hi there. I love chocolate frosted sprinkles. That's my favorite donut, actually. Can I get two donuts, please? Of course. And what flavor <laughs> donuts would you like, madam? Oh, holy waffle house. What is it outside? Can I have a Boston cream donut and a chocolate sprinkle? Huh, wonder what Dave saw. Please? Oh, wow. This thing looks so cool. Oh, wow. What is that thing? thing around this city. Now, Whatever that thing is, it looks so cool. Am I going to get into the thing as the cockpit appears to be way, way higher? Maybe I can enter it through the tall building right next to it. Yeah, I think I might do that. Because it looks like a really awesome toy to play with. Man, I hope Catherine... I'm pretty sure that's not a toy. That's a tall robot. Let me keep it. Okay, time to go inside this strange device. <laughs> when Dave got inside the tripod. Okay, oh. So it's not a tall robot. It's a tripod. Okay. That makes sense, because it is tall. Oh, wow. Look at that. Interesting. I've never yes, seen a tripod that big before. Over my fear of hides. I am such a big break boy. Now, I wonder how it's... I've actually never seen a tripod that's actually a ship. The only tripods I've ever seen are ones used for cameras. Back when you drive this thing, it looks very alien-like in here. It does look well, alien-like. That's actually pretty There's true. There's on the wall, and they both look so tempting to press. Also, I am curious as to what they do, so I think I might press them. Let's start with every button, as the one looks the most tempting. Look at it. It's so shiny. Pushy, pushy. Pushy, pushy. <laughs> Did he just start it up? Or is it just playing dementing music? Oh, wow. That actually sounded quite scary. Oh. I can tell that I am going to have a lot. Oh, so the red button played dementing music. Nice. The fun with Tiss. As soon as I figured out how to drive it, I could use it sound to scare people. Trail. <laughs> right. Yeah, he's going to be scaring people with that thing. <laughs> pushy, pushy. Pushy, pushy. <laughs> what? They both play music? <laughs> oh, wow. Another scary sound that I can use to scare people. As soon as I okay, so the, the red button plays scary, dementing music. The green button plays pretty much a, a hell's chorus. Pretty much a chorus in hell, pretty much. I learned to operate this under the contraction. Oh my god. Where has that husband of mine got to? I swear you need eyes in the back of your head with him sometimes. 
Nice music though. I like the music being played there. You look like an ant from down there. God. You look like an ant from down there. <laughs> that's not a toy. That's a tripod. It's a it's a monstrous tripod. Of course. Can I keep it? No way. No way. Again with the font, the new funny line. But why? around Because Dave Johnny Johnson, you do not have any idea where the thing has been. Besides, <laughs> you driving around and the thing is going to make people think that there's an alien invasion. Because, let's be honest here, that thing does look very alien-like. It does look alien-like, well, that's true. Stop being a wicked witch of trying to spoil my fun. You are so evil. <laughs> oh, for the love of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, I for the love of Freddy, Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Just going around scaring <laughs> nice. people with that thing. They're actually making a Finance of Freddy's movie. Fun fact for those who didn't know, which it looked, I saw the trailer. It looks really good. I definitely want to see it. Also, how did you even get inside that thing anyway when it's like 50 feet up in the air? Well, you see the tall building right there. Yes, I do see it. Your point being? Well, I went all the way up to the floor where the cot was next to and climbed through the window to enter. That is how I got in. Anyway, did you get my donut? No, I did not get your donut, as I had to leave the donut shop to come and find you. Now, I won't tell you again, get out of the thing. No, you can't make me, because you're all the way down there and I'm all the way up here. No. I'm pretty sure she can. She would have to... She would climb... I'm pretty sure she can still get you down from there either way. She would have to climb to the top of the building like you did, and then pick you up, and then bring you all the way back down. So you're in trouble, Dave. Back inside. LOL. <laughs> Excuse me. And get out here right now, mister. No. Dave Johnny Johnson, you better do as you were told and get out of that alien looking contraption right now. No. I don't want to. I want to drive around in it and play. It's scary noises. Why? <laughs> oh, he just shot a laser. No. I think I just laser zapped Catherine. Damn. Damn, that thing is lethal. You, you're damn right, Dave. It's lethal. You just should zap, shot Catherine with a laser. You're crazy. All right, last video we're gonna do. Just one I have not reacted to yet so far, which there's a couple I have, but I'll get to them in as soon as possible. Next one I'll react to will be Childish Dad. Uh, what's it called? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Childish Dad, Catherine's Dream. Oh, no! It's Dave calling! Dave, what's it? Oh, hang on. I gotta put it in full screen. Now I can start it. Oh, no! Oh, no! It's, it's Dave, Dave calling! Dave, what does he want? want? What does, does he want? want? Dementing music. <laughs> oh, my God. I love Catherine's ringtone. It's so funny. <laughs> Can you imagine having a ringtone like that in real life? Because I cannot imagine that. Over crying out loud, what does he want now? Ugh, guess I better yarn some microphone then. Yes, Dave, what is it? Catherine, I can't find the peanut butter. I've been in the kitchen for the past half an hour trying to find it as I want to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Seriously? You called me Seriously? on the phone just because... <laughs> Another new funny line I heard from Catherine. Seriously. <laughs> Can't find the peanut butter in the kitchen. You know you could have just come into the front room and told me. But I don't want to watch. <laughs> just please, tell me where the peanut butter is. We'd run out. There isn't any peanut butter left. What? Oh, no, 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 what? <laughs> I want peanut butter and jelly sandwich, what? Ugh. That man is such a hand. I wish that he would act mature for once in his life. This childish behavior is getting ridiculous. Oh well, I think I'm going to take a nap. Because dealing with Dave on a daily basis can get quite exhausting. 
You might as well take a nap, Catherine, because it does get exhausting dealing with Dave at times. I don't blame you. Oh, she's having a dream. Interesting. Oh, that was a good nap. I feel a little better now, but anyway, I suppose I better get up. Ah, uh, you finally woke it up. Did you have a good nap there? What me? Dave. Nice suit, Dave. This is the first time I've seen Dave wearing a suit and tie. What are you doing in a suit? Are you playing dress up again or something? Dress up. Dress up? <laughs> this is my suit for work. Work? And since for when work? do you have a job, Dave? Since when do you have okay. a job, Dave? Are you suffering from short term memory loss or something? I've had a job for the past five years now, remember? I'm one of the president's bodyguards. That's okay. a good job. Nice, you're one of the president's bodyguards. That's a good job. I figured you'd be a bodyguard, Dave, because you are a big beefcake after a beefcake after all. <laughs> and what have you done with Dave? I'm Catherine. It's me. I'm really Dave. Yeah, you are Dave. No, you can't be. You're not normally this mature. You're you're always acting childish. That's true. Like He's always acting childish. That's things. true. Catherine, I'm 35 years old. I had probably one of the most important jobs in the world. I highly doubt that I would act childish. Exactly. I mean, being a bodyguard for a president is one of the most important jobs in the world. And I highly doubt a bodyguard would act childish. Okay, this is getting scary now and I'm really confused. This isn't like you at all, Dave. You're usually childish and immature. And what makes you think that? Well, you called me from the kitchen just before I took my nap, complaining that you couldn't find the peanut butter and then <laughs> started crying like a baby when I said we ran out. You are probably dreaming me. I think you've been dreaming. Yeah, you probably are dreaming me yeah. for quite some time now. But it all seems so real. Well, sometimes dreams can be like that. Oh, and about the peanut butter, it's not a big deal. I can always pick some up on my way home from work. Anyway, it's time for me to take the kids to school and head into work. Brian, Emma, come on. It's time to go to school. Coming, Dad. But Dave, you never take the kids to school. You're always complaining when I ask you to do it. That's true. Oh, don't be silly, Catherine. I take them to school every morning on my way to work. And um, Dad, is Mum feeling okay? Oh, she's fine, Emma, darling. She just had a dream about me acting childish, that's all. Anyway, is it really a dream? That's school, the question. So let's get going. Well, Catherine, I'll see you later, and if you need me to pick anything else up besides some peanut butter, then just give me a call. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, this is not happening right now. There is no way that Dave would be this mature. No way at all. Huh. Oh my god. What an unusual dream. And it was honestly quite scary. Yeah, it was an unusual Dave dream, so Catherine. Uh, oh no! It's Dave calling! <laughs> <laughs> I figured it would not be a dream. I figured it would be a dream because Dave still acts like this in these type of videos. Um, here we go again. Yes, Dave. What do you want now? <laughs> the dog from next door is barking at me in this. The dream. dog from next door is barking yeah, that's at the me. Dave I know, so I am definitely not dreaming now. Nope, you're not dreaming now. You just you woke up from a nap. <laughs> Very funny. All right, so that's the end of the video. I will end my video, video here. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.